In this video I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to create a strip of images uh, even when all of the images aren't necessarily in the same aspect ratio etc. So basically you're taking different sized images and you want to create a single image that has uh, a row of all the images that you started with. All right, so. Uh, let's just quickly look at the images we're going to use. We have our little red fish here and we have this uh, lovely sea creature, little squid, and an octopus. All right. So let's start right here and uh, you should have an idea of how high in pixels you want your uh, end result to be. Okay, so for the sake of argument in this tutorial we'll say that that's 500 pixels high. All right. So what you want to do is you want to resize each photo to be that high. So let's go ahead and do that. Say image, image size, just go to height here, 500 and click OK. Now we can also go view actual pixels to get a real view of what we're looking at. We'll go to the next one, image, size, height again, 500. Then view actual pixels. You can go control one to uh, get that same effect. Image, size, 500 and our final image size 500 all right so now we have our four images are ready to be placed together in a row now if we start with the one on the left here uh, Let's create, let's make this one the one that we're going to extend. So, having decided that, we'll go to our second image and we're going to check its actual dimensions. So, we have 517 by 500. All right. So, we'll click OK. We'll go back here. Now we know that to start off, we need to make this at least 517 pixels wider. All right. Now if you wanted a border between, you know, some white space, uh, you might want to add another 20 pixels to that. But for this tutorial, for, t for this tutorial, we'll have the meeting edge on. So we'll, we'll go image, now not to image size, but to canvas size. We'll click on that. And this area here shows how the image is going to be resized when you change the values. We want it to resize from the left edge so that the new images will appear to the right. So we click here on the left edge and it shows how it will expand. Okay. Now we need to add 517 on to uh, this value of 335. And that is 852 pixels, so 8 Five two. Okay, and we'll click OK. Now this area shows up as red on my system because I have red chosen here as my background color. Uh, doesn't particularly matter what color you have that set to, as long as uh, for the purposes of this kind of work, uh, it's a different color than is appearing within the photo on the edge of your area okay so th there's no real reds in here like this so we'll go there and what we're going to do is we'll go to our uh, third tool down here or fourth I should say the magic wand tool we'll set the tolerance to zero and we'll click in that red area and that means it will very quickly just select that whole area uh, as a particular space right so now if we go back to our other image and we say select all, edit, copy, 
we'll get that 517 by 500 that matches here. The reason we have our selection here is that when we say edit paste, uh, Photoshop knows that if you have a selection that you want to paste into that selection. So when we hit paste, it's placed perfectly in the area that we want it to be. All right. So now that we have this image transferred over, I can just close that off to get it out of the way. I don't want to save uh, the changes to it because I want to keep the original size, etc. And let's move on to our other next image here, which is our squid. And we need to check its dimension. So we go image, image size, and here we have 843 all right, as our width. So we can cancel out of there, go back to our image here. Go once again, image, canvas size, and we want to add the 843 to this 852. So that's 852 plus 843 is 1695. Don't forget to click on your left edge. Put 1695. Click OK. Now, at this point, if we click here once again, we still have the um, magic wand selected. We have a much larger area that we're selecting. We go back, select all, edit, copy, right? Choose this image once more edit paste and there it is right so we can go here close that off and we're on to our final image all right so to finish off we check 335 is the width cancel out of that go back here image canvas size. Make sure we're expanding from the left. We're going to add 335 to 1695. That's 2030. Click OK. Scroll over. Use our magic wand to select the area. Go back here. Select all. Edit copy, switch back over, edit, paste, go here, close that, okay, and now we have, if we say view, fit on screen, we have our whole image right here. Now, um, if we zoom in, I just saw a red line there, but if we zoom in, it's not there, so uh, when Photoshop is doing its interpreting uh, in at this zoom level. It's it's showing this artifact of the red background showing through when it doesn't actually. Let's try saying layer, flatten image. Yeah, that takes care of it. Okay, so that basically uh, crushes the background layer. It's no longer there to sh to peek through and um, we can say file, save as because we don't want to necessarily save over this original image there and just give it a name such as image strip. Adjust your JPEG qualities if that's the format that you're saving in and we now have a, a nice strip of images that you could use you know, in a header or an ad or whatever your purpose is. But they were all different sizes and aspect ratios to begin with, and we've fit them in a nice consistent format uh, to use in our artwork. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, if you have a moment, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care.